So guys, welcome to the second part of my declutter videos. Um, I have already done all my face products. If you fancy watching that, I'll link it in the description box. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you love content like this. Uh, give this video a big thumbs up and let me know in the comments what your favorite lipstick is. Uh, <laughs> I have a few lipsticks, just a few. <laughs> um, lipsticks have always been something that whenever you just go into like duty free or like Sephora or something, it's just very easy to like add another one to the collection and it just gets, you just get into a situation like this. Bear in mind, this collection is years and years old. Some of these, like all of these, they don't exist anymore. They've been completely discontinued. And I just need to get rid of them. Um, I'm nervous. I'm going to put all this on my desk and we're going to go through each drawer. Ah, scared. So I think I'm just going to go through each of these to start with. First up are these milk ones. They're discontinued and I've hardly used them. Um, this is in deuces. Is that the word? I'm not going to be swatching everything, guys, uh, because I would run out of makeup wipes <laughs> and my hands will be covered. So it is what it is. I'm also going to get rid of this one, Wifey. I don't even know if that's even been used, but they just need to go. Um, they're really lovely lipsticks, but they don't even make them anymore. Love this one from Kiko. Um, that's quite used for, for considering how big my collection is. I think these are called like the jelly stilos really really love these from kiko keeping now these are by the the company doesn't even exist anymore um i think they're just gonna go they're lovely lipsticks but again i i don't need them i don't need them look at that we've kept one <laughs> it's not going to be as good as that from now on i'm going to keep these glossier these are the ultra lip i love a glossy lipstick um i love this orange for the summer super um fun color i also have the brown one but i've been i use that one and this is in the shade villa and it's just like a really nice everyday shade um, really nice comfortable uh, lipstick so if you ever wanted to pick something up from Glossier really nice I think this is going tart I don't think they even make these anymore um, I love the packaging these are the under the sea I think Manny MUA used to love this color it's called rum punch I just don't use it I am tempted though because it looks like a gorgeous color so we're gonna put her in the maybe pile <laughs> it's a really really pretty color this i've never used it it's from um a french brand called rouge and i think i'm gonna keep it just for like i might put it in my like memory box these i think are quite old they're oh yeah i think that one's gonna go it looked a bit dodge they're like dior shiny lipsticks they're just old they're just old they need to go i need to go even if the packaging is called gina um something i know i'm definitely going to keep the makeup by mario glow sticks this is one of my favorite formulas at the moment i have bronze glow which is this gorgeous like brownie nude and then this one's more of like a clear uh like that dior kind of vibe love those lippies they are quite menfully though sunny's face i just don't these are like super matte um that's a very pretty shade i just don't use them the way i used to oh wow i obviously really like this in nudist they're so matte though And this is a brand you can only get in the Philippines. So I don't really think I'll be talking about them on my page. So um, matte lipsticks were such a such a vibe, weren't they? This is a MAC lipstick. Um, I love this. I have a specific shirt that I wear with this. 
uh, it's not as dark as the bullet makes it look i also love the packaging this is relatively new in the shade dusty grape i love this bobby brown but i don't wear it because it's, i'm just like overwhelmed by like everything else very very comfortable like pinky nude in desert rose i'm gonna have to sit down guys my ugh. wow i didn't shouldn't sit down because i'm not i'm just gonna i'm gonna keep all of the gucci all of these these are my this is my favorite formula ever keeping all of them i feel like we're not going to get rid of that many from this um carton though i think this one might stay i think i love this one but these tom fords i just don't use them this is in the shade drake um basically tom ford did this boys and girls collection with lipsticks inspired by boys and girls and i think that's literally inspired by drake um and then this one's jake <laughs> it's a really pretty color but i literally like just it's just i never think about wearing it this though i think i love it's like a, a nudie balm yeah definitely keeping that definitely my speed that's in apres soleil rare beauty i think these are like the balms they do go they have this like pigment which makes them go a little bit gray if they've been like sitting around for a bit but they are pretty i'm gonna keep them because they're that my kind of my kind of colors these are the new revlon um shine lipsticks relatively new to my collection and i really really like them very very easy to wear i know trina loves them as well um i love these sephora um better the care better rouge lippies this one is one of my absolute favorites like look how gross it is Ugh. um although i've worn it so much you wouldn't be able to tell but uh absolutely love this formula this is in shade two um i do have shade three like not the biggest leap in color difference but i am gonna keep it because i've literally only just ow pinched my pinch my finger i've literally only just bought it so howies um these are lisa aldrich incredibly expensive this is meet me in berlin it's a really unique like cool autumn color which pick takes out um it picks up the pink in your natural lips because it's like semi-opaque um then we've got cinnabar which is more of like a burnt orange super like unique shade keeping them because i spent a fortune in the in the covent garden pop-up um and then this is a blush lightly which is a a pinky blushy color um her lipsticks are very very nice but they're just very very expensive but you know it is what it is <laughs> um this isn't going to be a very successful part of the declutter because i like all of these this is in the shade glazed i love these fenty um what are they called a slip shine lipsticks i think they're still around which is why i'm going to keep them this is one that han got me like years ago this is the first one i had in retro rose really they're just really nice and comfortable um make out break out these were on a um a boots 10 pound tuesday offer so i went a bit wild i think i got the three others and then this one i actually wear quite a lot it's the goji gang and it's just a really pretty like berry shiny berry color uh really like really like all of them my hand needs this is i, this, I knew this was gonna happen <laughs> the keep pile is currently looking bigger now than the get rid of pile which is a shame we started off so well <laughs> the chanel's i'm gonna probably keep um i wear this one quite a bit um it's like a balm it's really pretty i like easy to wear um i don't wear this one as much i really should because this was like a, one of the most expensive lipsticks in my collection i didn't know how much this lipstick was going to cost 
um until she checked it out and i was like whoa even at duty free but it is a gorgeous nude and uh, but it's got all these like like skin oh brilliant skincare extracts in it so great again another one of my favorite favorite um lipstick ranges it's the coco shine these are some of my oldest lipsticks but they're still fine because uh, the newer ones have like the clear lid this is boy uh, it's classic she's old she smells fine it's just just really nice it is meant to be that kind of gray pink color so that is normal uh this is evasion again love this shade too um just really easy to wear that one has like slightly more pigment than boy now these ones like the colors aren't my everyday but that's just like a really pretty pink color um that's in live or live uh amour oh a gorgeous red see these are colors i don't have like i don't have these very often so they're like my only one in the collection this is in rush a really pretty like pink pinky coral they're very very subtle they're kind of like glossy lip balms and then this is in chicness which i really like as you can tell um just like a nice like nudie brown i don't think i'm going to get rid of any of them because they're all either like super wearable or um very unique to what i have like already and they cost a fortune so i really don't want to get rid of any of them if i don't have to um i really like all of them so i think i'm gonna get rid of quite a few that's in this i'm gonna get rid of all of these sephora lip stories I absolutely adored the concept when they first came out. Basically, people had to submit an image um, and then they would get put on the lipstick bullet um, and have a colour like named after them. Such a nice concept. I think they were super underrated, but uh, I got these all in. Did I get them in America? But they're just so old. Um, I think I got these all like when I went to like Europe. They're so old. I don't use them. They they are they are they are discontinued. Um, but it was such an awesome concept um, that I almost don't want to get rid of them. But I haven't touched them since my last declutter. Keeping this, this is um, a Shantakai like glowy lippy stick. Um, love the packaging got this half price though this was like originally like 40 quid got it half price for 20 because i really wanted to try the brand uh, because it's such an expensive brand i've always been curious but not curious curious enough to actually spend a full price on i think guys it's time it's time to let the nars audacious formula go classic but old really old and i'm not wearing any of them um do i keep as anita i did love this shade but it's, it smells okay maybe i keep like two of my faves this anna was like the the one anita and anna I think I'm kind of over that movie purple moment. This is Catherine. I don't think I've ever worn Catherine. It's like an orange. It's kind of like a weird salmon colour. Uh, Raquel. This is the one that I'm kind of like, hmm, do I keep? Such like a nice light nude. I might keep Anita and Raquel potentially they're going in the maybe pile um and then this is annabelle it's a really nice red but i don't wear reds like ever so now this i love charlotte tilbury <laughs> i love charlotte tilbury 
but as you can see i'm overwhelmed i really want to get this down to a row of five um pillow tour i'm gonna get basically i'm gonna get all the lids pillow talk is like look at that look at that um literally one of my most favorite bitch perfect like it's again one of my faves but i don't use it as much as i used to um this is very victoria i love this shade as well megan markle's color um this is american sweetheart what on earth is that it's a really nice nude <laughs> uh english beauty is that oh yeah look it's another really nice nude <laughs> stoned rose oh, oh look another nude oh guys this is silly um amazing grace i know it's like a peachy like a red wow well, i thought it was peachy more of like a a nude red walk of shame i think they've now changed this to walk of no shame haven't they but i have the old one <laughs> i liked it when it was walk of shame it is an iconic um saying then we've got uh hepburn honey which is like a really interesting i always call it call it like a safari it gives me like safari nude tau laura tau laura oh a very orange oh, i should really like that color oh my gosh this is going to involve some swatching um Kim K W. I really want to keep this because it's so nude. It's really hard to find nudes that are this light. Um, and I just think it is so iconic. And then finally, we've got So Marilyn, which is obviously inspired by Marilyn Monroe. Can you see? Yes. Well, it's quite dark, so I'm really sorry about that. <laughs> I don't even know where to start. I'm obviously going to keep Pillow Talk because iconic queen. Um, I might get rid of Bitch Perfect. Oh, guys, I don't want to get rid of any of them. <laughs> I'm definitely going to keep very Victoria because it's such a unique shade. The problem with Charlotte Tilbury is that she's excellent at making nudes, um, nude shades. This is American Sweetheart. So close to Stoned Rose. I think this is newer, so probably gonna keep that. This is English Beauty. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> Guys, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. This is not... I might get rid of So Marilyn. That's in the maybe pile. <laughs> oh, guys. There's a reason why... Um, Charlotte Tilbury is so popular. I'm obviously said I'm going to keep that. So if that's the case, then I've no, I've got allowed. I'm allowed one more, but I think guys that I'm going to be keeping more than um, that. Oh no, do I have no? That's stoned rose. That's bitch perfect. This is stoned rose. Such small differences. I think I'm going to get rid of Stone Rose and Bitch Perfect and I'm going to keep American Beauty and English Rose oh, this is so hard and then we've got all these really unique more unique colours this is Amazing Grace Um, I think Amazing Grace can go Um, it's not like she's not my ride or die it's pretty but i don't think i'm gonna use it walk of shame oh yeah that's really nice <laughs> my hand is just a wash of the same color in different formulas but i like that hepburn honey 
there's something I like about this colour. It's so unique and it I feel like it goes with my hair. I think I'm gonna keep it. But that that means I've don't I'm not keeping six. And then it's Tau Laura, which is just this most gorgeous orange. It's gorgeous and it's beautiful formula. I think I'm gonna keep Tau Laura. I'm gonna keep what I have at the moment. I think I'm happy with that. I don't need to get rid, there's no like, I've not set myself a target to get rid of anything. So, and I also got rid of so much from this row. I got rid of all the NARS and the Sephora, so. Um, I think I did a really good job. <laughs> it was really hard, guys. And then if you thought I had done all of my <laughs> Tilbury's, you can think again, along with Pat McGrath, Valentino, and some Natasha Denono. So let's do these um, Charlotte Tilbury's quick. I love the packaging of these. This is JK Magic, um, which is like, oh, kind of wish it wasn't inspired by her, but damn, she's inspired a very nice lipstick and the packaging is gorgeous. So I'm going to keep that. I need to use it though. And then this is Glowing Gen, which I think is inspired by Jennifer Aniston. And again, gorgeous need to use it <laughs> i'm keeping all my valentino um i i love the system i've got a whole little uh, purse of refills so i've actually got like eight valentino lipsticks um i love the formula um one i think my favorite like high-end fashion house lipsticks they're very similar shades i have at the moment though but i'm keeping them <laughs> If I swap the bullet out, they literally take up so little room. Um, but I like having two bullets. I think I'm going to get rid of the Natasha Denona's. I don't use them and I need to get rid of stuff. Oh, yeah, they're like funny colours. <laughs> funny nude shades. Uh, quite cool toned. Um, uh, Pat McGrath. I, she used to do like £10 Black Friday lipsticks. So that's how I have so many of them. But I never use them. I think it's just because you, you, you get so many in all at once and you don't get used to any of them and you don't appreciate them. Um, they are... And the problem is as well, like, what colour are they? I've got six there and I have no idea which one's which. And I don't... They've hardly been used... Oh, I obviously like this one though. Realness. I remember liking this one. I'm almost tempted just to keep this one because I know I like it. And I haven't, I completely, oh sorry, completely forgot I even had it. That's crazy. And then this one's Major Red. I don't like this. This stains me. This can go. Major Red can go. Realness is staying. Um, I don't think i particularly like this matte formula it's very powdery so i think i'm gonna get rid of any of the mattes even though they're really mm. <laughs> maybe <laughs> this is in christy it's practically the same shade as realness but in like um a slightly more matte formula so we don't need that this is in the shade beautiful creature this is in a cream formula slightly deeper but am i gonna wear it that's i have been putting a couple on my lips maybe i think my mum might like that though guys i feel like she might already have it <laughs> hmm it's very pretty but it's just not very me and if I, I feel like if I just have that one shade that I really like, I'm more likely going to use it. So I'm going to get rid of five of the Pat McGrath. Jesus. Jesus Christ. 
I have these just like hanging around. Um, this is a very interesting colour. It's almost bubblegummy and I do actually really like this formula from Estee Lauder. My mum bought it and it wasn't what she thought. I think I'm going to keep it for now. And it reminds me of my mum. <laughs> um, oh my gosh, this is relatively new. I'm definitely going to be keeping this from um, Rare Beauty. It's a really nice lipstick formula. Quite classic, comfortable, a comfort matte. Uh, but it's a nice nude shade. Um, oh, I also love this. This is uh, Bubbly by REM Beauty. Another comfort matte. Um, and I love the packaging. It's so extra. Um, also love this rose ink, but it's definitely more of an autumn shade. So I'm very excited to... Oh, oh that's just a bit of like my lip skin. Um, very excited to wear this in autumn. I've not had the chance to wear it then. So excited for that. This Huda... Huda Beauty. Oh, it's so creamy and nice. And I know she does sell... She still sells those lipsticks. I don't want to keep anything that's like old um, formulas and stuff. I think I love this though. This is Blow Up. It's a balm from um, Pat McGrath. And it's one of those like really shiny things that I like. So, uh, and I can tell the difference between the two ones. Golan. They're really cool. So they like do that and you've got like a little mirror. But I don't use them ever. Like ever. Even though they're gorgeous, gorgeous lipsticks. Um, I bought this one in Amsterdam with JP. I'm going to keep this one. Uh... Oh no, they're both cool. They, mm. I'm going to keep them and remember to use them. They just seem very, they're just assholes to store, in all honesty. More lipsticks. <laughs> well, guys, what did you expect when you clicked on this video? Um, I'm keeping all of these Dior. They're very relatively new. Um, this is like an, an, I know I said I don't like matte, but... Um, I do like matte in the winter and also when we were doing COVID with the masks, matte became very popular. So these are like the new matte lipstick form, but they are a comfort matte. We love a comfort matte moment. Then I got more of like a ready, but this was definitely more winter vibes um, and they were expensive. So, and then this is the classic Dior. Um, is it 200 or 100? The matte nude shade i actually wear that quite a bit i really want to get it in the satin formula as well though um and then i have all my lip glows definitely keeping cherry uh, jp got me this for christmas i think last year and he got my name engraved so obviously keeping that i actually wear this with my cherry blush with um like a black wing eyeliner and it's just a really cute fresh summer makeup um also got it in mahogany which comes out quite like a very like light nude when you like wear it like a nudie pink i think i'm gonna get rid of hollow though because this is old and it's quite gris oh, it's so pretty though or oh, maybe i do just oh it kind of smells a bit funny though i think i'm gonna get rid of it it's old it's old. I need to stop being a hoarder. Um, I think a lot of these lipsticks are going to be unfortunately thrown away rather than me giving them to you guys because they're just old. But we'll see. Um, Tom Ford, I think. Mm, let's open them all. I always end up with the same kind of colours from Tom Ford. <laughs> ah, yeah. Oh, my Lord. I've got... <laughs> Ooh, what's this? Ooh, that's pretty. And like a gold packaging. Love crime. Oh, look, it's another berry shade. No, this is silly. Oh, and then I have another. Okay. Right. 
what's this? I like the look of this. Velvet Cherry. That's pretty. I think I'll keep that. This is 1111. Mm, no. And this is Le Eclisse. Oh, that's nice. I'm going to keep that. That's actually really nice. Okay, so kept two. Um, this is Love Crime. It is the same as the one I've kept, so that can go. Um, I whatever this is, Wild Ginger looks stunning. Wild Ginger can stay. We like her. And then this is a balm, Le Mepri. It's all in bloody French. Um, running out of space. Mm. Mm. I don't think I'm going to use it. I don't think. I think I'd go for that ginger lily shade instead. Yeah. I need to get rid of stuff. I need to get rid of stuff. We can't. If you haven't noticed, guys, I am putting off getting the MAC stuff out because that is hard for me. I feel like I only want to keep five shades. I want. But. Oh God, I I should have done this as well when I could have got um, <laughs> back to Mac them to get more Mac lipsticks. But that is silly. So the lids I got from um, Amazon, which are actually super helpful because when you've just, I wish we could get them for everything because it's just a nightmare. I'm going to pick, like, shades that I know the name of, um, that I'm like, I like that shade. Uh, first one is So so Showed. Um, this is my favourite orange lipstick. It's a classic. As you can see, it's very worn for a, an orange lippy. So I'm definitely going to keep that. Problem with these bloody lids is you nick your lipsticks because you keep them up in, you keep them up a little bit. That's okay. That's okay. Love that lipstick. Um, creme in your coffee. Which one is that? It's not that one. Mm. Here, no, that's creme cup. <gasps> oh gosh, guys, where is creme in your coffee? Ah, here it is. Cream in your coffee. This I had to replace with my old one because this one's um this one gets stinky. But this is one of my favourite, favourite um MAC lipsticks. It's gorgeous. I really want the it's MAC shade. Um, but I don't really need it, do I? Velvet Teddy, sh reveal yourself. I think you're Velvet Teddy. No, you're half and half. Um, where's Velvet Teddy? Are you Velvet Teddy? Are you Velvet Teddy? Yes. Obviously, going to keep the iconic Velvet Teddy. Um, love her. Mm. I have some that are new to me that I back to Mac and I would like to keep them because they are new. I that's not one. Oh, that's... Some of these have, like, memories, though. Devoted to Chili is, like, relatively new. It's one of these air matte formulas. It's... I'm tempted to keep. Tempted to keep. Uh, my Tweedy is kind of a weird peach colour. Don't want you. Don't want you. Um... Muller over again, like another, but I liked this. It's got a lot of wear, but I think I'm gonna get rid of it. Uh, taupe, I obviously love this color. It smells okay, but it's oh, no, I don't want you anymore. It's very like sticky. Well, again, I don't want it. I don't want it. Um, 
amplifier oh half and half that's a nice shade mm, I think and I did say I liked half and half didn't I <laughs> didn't I <laughs> um reverence I think it's like too pinky uh modesty I feel like you're you're like newer yes I like modesty that's pretty pretty it's all nudes I'm such a boring girl um creme cup I know she's iconic I know um but I don't think I want it oh it's really pretty though um, I think I'm going to keep, but in my, um, I have like a makeup, what do you call it? Like where I keep all my memories. I want to keep these just because I loved, like, it's just part of my life. I just loved MAC limited editions and I don't want to get rid of them. So I'm going to keep them, uh, just as like a collection. I'm allowed to have a, a, a collection folks um please me i used to love this shade but i think this is just so old now it needs to not be here brave again like i used to love this but this is so old it's going a bit discolored a bit funky um uh myrrh, another one i used to love um and this is a f like i used to have so like less mac lipsticks and now I'm just overwhelmed. This is under the covers. Ooh, relatively new. It's one of these formulas. I don't even know they do them anymore though. Oh, uh, buttery and yummy. Okay, you can stay. I think you're pretty new, so. Well, compared to everyone else. <laughs> uh, and then we've got uh, creme de la femme, which i don't think exists anymore and it's kind of like a weird purple and then this is a new one natural born leader Ooh, this is one i back to mac and i want to keep it because obviously it's like under six months old i believe um i ended up getting this because they didn't have creme in your coffee and they were like, oh, I'll get this instead. Um, Burning Love, like it's nice, but no. Kinky is actually a limited edition shade. And then these, like, what am I, why am I bothering with? These are uh, just some funky shades. And then what was this? I'm going to keep that devotion to chili. And then that means I've, I've got an odd. Yeah, I'm going to keep it. I've gotten rid of half of my MAC lipsticks. So that's really good. Holy, holy cow. How good is that? Um, then I've just got some sticks. Um, so I'm gonna get rid of the Fenty ones. They're too mad, I don't use them. They're old, I don't want them. Um, I love this. I used this the other week, the Victoria Beckham. I really like that. This is like new and like, have I ever bloody used it? No. Oh, well, I'm going to keep it, but I'm unsure of the shade. Like, why did I pick that brown shade? <sighs> love Clinique uh, Black Honey. I've actually used this quite a lot. Um, so I can keep that. Um, like minis. Uh, I never use minis, though I've used this one quite a bit. Um, but I'm not gonna use it. Um, I like the other shades more than I have this one. Ow! Uh, pinch myself again. These I love. I like the big one, but I'm not gonna use the small ones and don't ask me why, I know that's so stupid, uh, but it just is what it is. I need to be realistic. Um, and then, I really like these actually from um, Charlotte Tilbury. 
they're um like glowy sticks this one is sexy lips yeah that's a nice color oh and then we've got i think this is pillow talk these oh no there's a fly these are my mum's favorite lippies uh she loves these from charlotte tilbury so i'm gonna keep them and then finally um this by terry's really old it needs to go they've discontinued the range um, i'm gonna keep this uh chantica one i actually literally used that the other day and then guys the final final pieces <sighs> This is pretty new. It's the MAC, uh, like, square. Oh, my God. This fly is going insane. Uh, heat sensor. I really like that. Um, a couple of Korean lippies. Um, oh, literally just got them in. really like them. So I'm keeping them. Um, I think I'm going to get rid of the YSL. It's just so old. And I literally never reach for it. Loved it. But it's time for it to move on. Um this from gucci uh, i'm gonna get rid of it i think yeah i'm gonna get rid of it i'm not gonna use it um i actually quite like this nude lipstick from l'oreal yeah, I like that. That can stay. Um, this is the Orgasm Lip Balm from NARS. Oh my God, Mr. Fly, go away. I'm going to get rid of it. Uh, two lip scrubs. I'm keeping them. Two lip scrubs is pretty good, <laughs> considering. Um, and this was actually, I won a giveaway. Oh my gosh. It's one of those sparkly lip balms. I'm definitely keeping this uh, because I've never... Actually, I've won one other giveaway before. I only enter giveaways, though, that, like, I want to win. If you know, I'm not, like, a professional giveaway enterer. Um, I won this from um, a TikToker called uh, Marina or Maria. Um, I really like her. She's really funny. Um, and, yeah, she, like what mac had um some of them left over they sold out everywhere but mac gave her like the last ones to give away to her followers and i got one um so i'm gonna put <laughs> everything away oh my god you can see the mass um i would say i've decluttered like a third so i'm gonna not film because we're already like oh my god 44 minutes <laughs> we're already quite far in and we've not even done the other draw yet so I'm going to sort this out off camera. So there we go. This is feeling a lot more manageable. It's still a lot of lipsticks, um, don't get me wrong, but I like all of them. Um, and I'm really happy with how much I've managed to get rid of considering how much I love lipsticks. Um, so this is how much we have got rid of. Um, I think I'm just going gonna, gonna to include them. You know, it just makes just makes it a better situation. Now, <laughs> this is going to be such a long video because we've now got to do, guys, this monster of a video. Oh, my Lord. There's so much, so much to do. I definitely think getting them out in little chunks is the best bet, most manageable for me. Um, so first things I'm going to get rid of are all these mini liquid lipsticks. I don't reach for mini things as much as I don't reach for liquid lipsticks, they're all going, oh my God, a whole section gone. Wowie. Um, oh gosh, uh, this can go, this plushy Lime Crime. Um, this can go, this MAC liquid lipstick. They're not comfortable liquid lipsticks, guys, at all. Um, These are really interesting, the L'Oreal lippies. Um, I've just got kind of random colours, but that one's actually very pretty. That's in the maybe pile. Um, I feel like with 
the two Kylie lip kits I've got. The shades are so similar. I think I'm just going to keep Autumn because I just love Autumn. That's why I bought it without realising. Um, this I got out of a vending machine in Vegas. I think I'm going to get rid of this really old. It's her old uh, formula. And I'm going to get rid of this. It's red and it scares me. Um, this is an e.l.f. glossy lip stain. It's actually really pretty. Actually, do I like that? It's really grey toned. I'm going to get rid of it. It's too grey toned. Um, that's a maybe thing. <laughs> Keep fixing with the maybes. Now, if we're going to do a liquid lipstick, it's going to be Dior. I like Dior liquid lipsticks, keeping all of them. Um, they're also very expensive, so I want to keep them. I think this one's going to go. This one's super old. I don't even know if YSL make this formula anymore. Um, so it's good. Um, I don't know if Chanel make this formula anymore, but damn, is that a beautiful, very similar to the Dior, and they are staying lip tints i kind of want to keep these <laughs> i'm gonna sound awful saying it if ever covid happens again <laughs> i bought these because of covid uh because i um i didn't like getting lipstick all over my mask so lip stains were perfect for that um for that reason only really um i'm gonna to have to swap john i i know i'm gonna get rid of these two uh this is a kaja thing and this is just old as well and it's shiny so it defeats the reason why i would use a lip tint um which is literally for otherwise i find lip tints really uncomfortable um i think i'm gonna use a piece of paper for the lip tints because i don't want to stain my hand any more than it is already stained but maybe doing it on paper wasn't the best idea because <laughs> it's not it's not the same vibe and then i've got my dior uh lip tattoos which are really nice i think the dior ones are better than the ABH ones. Dior's lip products are incredible. I'm going to get rid of Dusty Rose, but I haven't got a shade that's like Black Cherry. So I'm going to keep all my Dior tints and black cherry i got with one <sighs> this like i got circuit into uh so it's relatively new um everyone was going on and on about these like popsicle lip popsicle stains from fenty i got suckered in this is really old from dior i need to get rid of it i never reach for it um i'm gonna get rid of these headers i don't reach for them oh my god however i love these from chanel and why i'm so happy to be doing this declutter so i have remembered my love for these i adore these so much um right this can go this is so old miami fever this was a kathleen kathleen lights it's a gorgeous color i literally never reach for it though if i'm going to do a burnt orange it's going to be the, one of the lipsticks that i go for um i do like these though the rare beauty uh they're very very moosey Ugh, a moosey moment but they are nice so i'm gonna keep them they're relatively new as well uh this i'm gonna get rid of this is by avril which is like a french brand but i never use it um luna beauty i love his products i'm gonna swatch this on my piece of paper it's very dark and witchy but i feel like that's the kind of color you'd want in a liquid lipstick also you now have to order from america they're not on beauty bay anymore which is really sad um i do really like the maybelline like these are like if you want a liquid lipstick and have I kept red? I haven't. I'm going to 
keep these. Really, oh my gosh, they are really good liquid like lipsticks. Um, I'm gonna keep this one because JP got me an advent calendar from Sephora and this was in it <laughs> and I've heard like everyone everyone adores adores these and if I'm gonna do a red lip a red lipstick it's gonna be a liquid lipstick so there oh god ah. oh my lord oh my lord I'm gonna I can't believe I'm doing this these used to be my favorite lip formula they've been discontinued I haven't touched these in years um, I love them, but they're fond memories now. Um, same with the lip gloss versions. Fond memories, but they need to go. Um, I really like these Bobbi Brown Crush, especially this shade. I wear this... Is it this shade? I think it is. This shade all the time. Um, it's a very popular shade for me. Definitely going to keep that one, but I don't think I need to keep all of these but I really like them um they're really comfy easy to wear um I don't know if I'm gonna wear this shade this shade's really pretty though I'll have to keep that one uh smoothie move no I'm over that kind of like purpley mauve. This looks like a cup of tea. Juicy date. I think I'll probably keep it. Yeah, <laughs> yes. Yes. Gorgeous. Um, I'm not going to use this formula in that. It's a lovely formula, but as I said, red, scared. You know, I'm so fair. I need it to like not budge. I um, forgot I had this, but I like it. It's a Rowan like lip gloss. Really pretty. But it's just everything's so compact. <laughs> you can't. These I'm definitely keeping. Uh, the Givenchy uh, liquid balms, very expensive, so definitely keeping. I was so obsessed with getting my hands on one of these um, iconic lip glosses, and then the biggest disappointment. Also, this colour. What was I? What was I thinking? Um, it's a no. Uh, oh shit, sorry guys if that was loud. These Charlotte Tilbury lip glosses are so small, but they're really pretty when I see them on other people. Like other people wear them and I'm like, what is on their lips? And it's, and this is relatively new as well to me. Um, so I'm gonna keep it. Um, I love these from um, Charlotte Tilbury as well, the collagen lip baths. Um, I do actually reach for them very often. Ooh, this is also relatively new and it's just got lost in the masses. Um, this is like an oil infused gloss and it's very pretty and I need to use it and it's relatively new to me as well. Um, all of Manny's glosses. Oh my gosh, oh my lord, so many of them. Um they're so good they're so nice like how milky that one is. they feel so good they're so good it's so gutting that you can't get them in the uk anymore you can you just have to pay customs gorgeous keeping um aurora gorgeous keeping ah <laughs> oh, this is the only one i'm like do i keep it this is celine yeah, he knows he knows what a basic bitch wants. Um I'm gonna keep this shade. Han got me this, but it's just not the colour. It's very light though. It smells like strawberry milk. I wanted one of these for so it's actually what is this? Milk it pink. Actually, kind of. It's it looks scarier in the tube. That's why I don't pick it up. I'm gonna keep it for now. Actually, it's actually really pretty. But I did get it in pink shake. What does this smell like? Maybe that's what they smell really good. But that's more my speed. 
um but i do it's like a milky gloss from nyx this is really old i don't even think you can get buxom in the uk anymore so it's very thick and sticky as well time to go essence classic gorgeous um lip glosses this is a sh it's a funny shade though it's like a cool tone beige i don't think i need that but this is pretty this is like a pinky a pinky shiny color <laughs> um power glass don't think i've ever used it it does look nice but mac glosses are so sticky um and i'm gonna get rid of these two the dazzle glasses oh, it's just sticky very sticky but pretty and very very fine brush so you can like if you only want like a little bit of gloss in the center of your lip but i'm not doing that level of detailed work on me like I, I, i'm just doing makeup for me i'm not like a makeup artist which i think you're probably shocked about um not the color for me i really want to try this in a different shade but i don't think i will <laughs> situation this is so old it's pretty though and it's really light and like not it staying even though it's really old uh this can go this is like actually falling apart and it's not even that old from boohoo oh, oh. um oh, dose of colors it kills me every time this is in the shade made you blush uh, their products are so good but like why can't we get them on beauty bay anymore i feel like all the brands that i loved from beauty bay you can't get anymore it sucks and this is in honey i'm home um which is it looks like poo it actually looks like poo so that one can this is so pigmented and pretty i think we're gonna i think we're gonna stay the iconic glossier clear gloss um whoa that's really runny uh yeah might as well keep it might as well keep it because i don't have a clear gloss um i'm gonna keep this as well because i just like having it around <laughs> like having it around guys um and this is relatively new and again like completely like forgot how much i liked it um this is a, a sephora like pillowy balm really good oh but did you think that was all the glosses <laughs> um color pop i'm just not into color pop because you can't enjoy the moment with the product they're already trying to like make the next thing this i want to use the coco k gloss is that gonna be that's so similar to that um i think i'm gonna keep this and get rid of dose of colors because it is just old and we can't get it here so similar to the kylie wet cherry from woo! this smells so good damn oh yeah keeping that my only uh lime crime product that i have left damn tower 28 i know their stuff goes off really fast it smells okay to me it doesn't smell like gone off really nice lip glosses i just need to use them <laughs> it's just it's the theme of the video just need to use them <sighs> am i going to be using this red lip oil no i'm not i'm not going to be not going to be using that i'd love to try like a normal shade of that um this is an aria is this plumping this is plumping this is in vcr like it doesn't look like a full price lip product though does it it looks like um like a sample so you're going to get like free in a magazine and for that reason it's going to go i really care i didn't think i was going to do that um this I have the glossier but i don't know if i'd want to ruin the glossier if i want to make but then am i actually going to make a lipstick a glossy lip no i'm going to get rid of that 
um i love uh oh, i think the whole world loves the maybelline um is it the lifter gloss this is in the shade sun it's like a really pretty like shimmery but like how similar is that to ice because i really don't need both I'm going to keep ice. I'm going to let go of sun. Because the shimmers in sun are so small. And I've got that um, Luna. Oh, my God. The lipsticks are, like, um, everywhere. And this is in the shade Silk, which I think is meant to be, like, a Fenty. It's meant to be a... Wow, it's a very dark colour. Oh, what in earth? I don't know what's happened there, but that's not good. It's gone mouldy. You don't want that. Oh, uh, the Fenty glosses are notorious for, um, I think, what you would call it, leaking. Um, oh, the NYX butter glosses, iconic. These I think are relatively new. Like I think I re re upped. Um, on some shades so i got the shades madeline and tiramisu and we're here for it gorgeous nyx are oh, smashing it in the lips um i feel like the time has come for this to go but i don't want to <laughs> it still smells fine but it's so old guys um maybe i just keep but they're so old fuzzy's so pretty <sighs> i think that needs to go so old and then we've got all these gorgeous little minis that are so cute um I really need to consider, like, am I going to use them? That is so close to Fussy anyway. Not Fussy, Fenty Glow. Um, so that can replace my Fenty Glow because no one would know. No one would know. This is a mini Fussy. You know what? I f Do I just keep the mini Fussy? Because I know the mini Fussy is, like, newer gonna keep the mini fussy we're gonna get rid of the old fussy why why have i got two of the same baby brute this is cute yeah she's cute we keep you guys know i'm into the news this is taffy tees sorry if you can't see the swatches guys this isn't a swatching video i might just even cut it out if you can't see the swatches but um I have to do this so quickly. I think these can, these two can go because they're too coloured for a gloss. Guys, this is taking, this is worse than I thought. Uh, <laughs> it just keeps going. Like we have this situation, um, keeping any of the tar, um, situations this is a backup of the coconut shade which is uh my favorite shade and i'm almost finished with it so obviously keeping that i'm gonna get rid of these baby lips you know you think you're going back down memory lane for the for the mems but no this is like brand new keeping the hourglass uh keeping all of the charlotte tilt the charlotte the rare beauty oil tint things oh bollocks uh this is a uh, I accidentally bought this. Um, I thought I didn't have the shade yet, but it's actually my most worn shade um, of the Gucci. This can go. This is really old. Oh, God, there's all these pencils. <laughs> this I need to, like, keep out and use. Like, it's going viral at the moment. I've had this for a while. It's the Summer Fridays, like, vanilla lip balm. I need to use it because everyone's loving it. This give can go. This was weird. And I can see why it was in TK Maxx. This I'm keeping. Um, this is like new. It's a Rowan lip oil tint thing. <sighs> Where to even start with all these lip pencils? 
oh, it is nice. But I don't even think I've got a sharpener big enough to like, I don't know. I don't know, guys. I feel like nude sticks, though, is going to have a moment because um, Sophia Ritchie, that was a nice map. Oh, that was nice. That's nice. I need to, like, use these. Um, I really want, like, a pencil pot. And I have I know I've gone through these, like, semi-recently. So I know that I like all the pencil shades. Um, and I used to wear pencils, like, all the time. They were so easy to wear. Um, is there anything that's looking a bit funky or weird? That's... That's the question. Some really nice, unique new chains. <laughs> I can hear you all going through, like shouting at me through the screen, like, what are you on about? You have the new chains. One day I would love to be able to like go through my collection and actually like be like, do I need all these nudes? But I'm not in that place yet. Like one day I would love to have a really minimal collection and just keep like have what I love but that is not where i am i'm gonna get rid of this hourglass set um Surat. i love the concept it's like a double-ended um but i never bloody use it i'm trying to think you know probably someone else would probably but i kind of want to see what that color looks like on my lips Gonna keep it um and then these i love that color i think this color can go though um okay <laughs> i'm gonna put all these back in here because they are just gonna go back in um here <laughs> and guys we're not finished we're not finished um i am gonna keep all of these these are like the newest item in my collection along with these clarins oils though this one has a floral taste i don't like that um keeping all of these liquid lip balms from Too Faced, like my favorite Too Faced product um this can go from primark um this pat lip gloss mm, it's pretty for real i do like all of her like she does a lot of the, the lip products i like from her make your lips look like they've had injections and i love this from nimia this is like recently new so obviously that. oh my god guys there's so much so much these are all um abh glosses it's a lot and i literally never use them they're so pigmented and beautiful but uh, i don't use them i don't want to get rid of them but i think i'm gonna honestly have to because it they don't get touched um i think i'm gonna keep like my faves um but then like i just don't use them and they're kind of smelling a bit funny um i loved it like this was one of my favorite lip glosses metallic rose oh gorgeous but just old i don't even think they do them anymore saint tropez i think it's the only one i might keep i'm gonna keep saint tropez because it's so unique it's like a duo flow duo flow duo chrome undressed was another iconic I think this is like relative. Ooh, it's very. They're so pigmented. They're insane. But it's a bit peachy. Look at this. Oh my gosh. So cool. But I don't think I'm going to use that colour. Oh, I'm going to keep Sunset Strip, I think. Um, yeah, it's iconic. Just like full of glitter um nude peach again i think that's gonna be like two i'm not a peachy girl um not gonna use that one this looks pretty 
it a bit like that. I'm going to keep that one as well. That's in pearl. So I kept three. And they're all like really unique. And I really like these. But am I going to use the shades? That's cheeky. I think peachy. I think this is like my favourite peach shade. It's just nicer than cheeky. I'm going to keep cheeky. No, peachy. And I think this is very dark. Jesus. Yeah, that can go witty. Guys, I'm surrounded by ever all this I'm going to get rid of. We've got two more to go. I was going to do lip liners in this video, but I don't think that's a good idea. So we're down to our, like, final bits. Oh, see, some of these are lipsticks that, like, should definitely, like, not be in the lip gloss drawer. This is a Jelly Belly Strawberry Cheesecake Gloss. Um, it smells so good, but I don't, I'm not using it. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, this is meant to be really, really nice. The Silk Balm from Huda. It smells like it's going off a bit. Mm, I don't know, maybe. So maybe. Um keeping these. These are like relatively new and I need to use them. Um, this is relatively new. This leaks though, <laughs> so you can't take it anywhere. This I just think needs to go. I have that new um like MAC one, which is like literally the same, same thing. Um just don't need it. Uh definitely need this. This is a Dior lip oil and um I need to use it. Um, no, I'm gonna get. I don't wanna, blah, 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 blah. This is just like a a Pat McGrath lip balm that I didn't even know I had. Um, and then this is a Morphe Diet Coke gloss. It smells amazing and it's like a really pretty color. So I'm definitely keeping that. And then these are really nice lip oils. I've got coconut and watermelon uh, from NYX. Smashing it as always in the but I, do i need they both smell really good i'm gonna keep both i don't need both but i like them so keeping them for now <laughs> and then we've got some like i don't think i'm gonna wear the red either i think red looks best matte this i need to put in my lipstick drawer a mez that I'm keeping. <laughs> um, and then I've got this like Tom Ford. What are you? Like a, oh, I think it's a matte orange. I don't have a matte orange lipstick. It says it's a lip lacquer, so it's gonna stay like that. In the shade Knockout. <sighs> no, it can go. I'm from umming and ahhing about it. I don't need it. <laughs> um and then we've got um uh christian louboutin i'm keeping this one my mum bought me this um i will never get rid of it for that reason alone they do need their own box though because they're so long and then these are just i feel like i'm gonna keep all of them this is like a, a red tinted oh my god my hands it's like a tinted red balm very pretty in like the louis vuitton red and then um i have it in the matte as well like if you're gonna if you're gonna wear red like you know might as well be those i don't know where i can put them uh but uh i'm gonna keep all of them because they were very expensive so here is the final draw it's I've not actually, I've only got rid of using one pot, but it just seems like empty. Like there's nothing at the back. Um, everything's just like a lot easier to like see. I've separated all my like juicy pens with my more like pencils. I probably need to flip them around there so I can see the colours. But there's like space to grow. There's like so much more room and everything's just a bit more like easier to like see and i've just popped my um christian louboutins here and then my hermes filled that little space there so 
I think I'm still going to keep. I'm still going to keep because I, while I don't shop as much for makeup now, um, this still <laughs> will probably ebbs and flows, ebbs and flows. Now let's look at the massive pile I'm getting rid of. Holy cow. I need to find a bag <laughs> to put this all in. Um, yeah, I'm very, very proud of myself. This is like so, so nice to have like, I've, there's some stuff I've just been holding on to for like memories and stuff like that, but it just needs to go like life moves on and so does my makeup collection. So I'm really happy with um, how much I'm getting rid of. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe, like, the eyes are coming next and that's going to be, I don't know how long that video is going to be. It's probably going to be longer than this video. Um, so don't forget to subscribe if you love declutter videos because there's more on the way. Um, and don't forget to like, leave me a little comment down below and I will see you very soon. Bye.